In other global news, nearly two years into the conflict, the Russia-Ukraine war is in a state of stalemate. The skies are buzzed with missiles and drones. Both sides have entrenched themselves. There is heavy fortification on the ground as well, which is stopping any forward movement. That is from both the sides. Heavy artillery shelling has become the order of the day. How it says keep blazing all day and night. Both the sides are staying firm and they are bombing the enemy on the other side. Both Russia and Ukraine are facing acute ammunition crunch. The condition of Ukrainians' troops is worse. While a lot has been reported about the fighting condition, one aspect which goes unnoticed is the mental trauma of the soldiers. The scars of a long grinding war is deepening with every passing day. These are images from Ukraine's northeastern front inside the dugouts. There are bare minimum supplies to keep the stomach full. No luxuries and the sound of constant shelling and also an unforgiving winter. In recent weeks, Russian forces have been on the offensive. The troops on the front lines face intense barrage of shelling. Despite the odds, they try to keep up the morale. Tens of thousands of other Ukrainian citizens signed in to join the military to defy the Russian invasion. But after two years, they're finding it hard to cope with no end in sight. The battle-scarred soldiers say that they need a break right now. Of course, we need to mobilize, at least to give us some rest, because we are also tired, because we have been on the front line since the start of the war. Yes, the intensity of the fighting is now quite high in our direction, and there are more wounded than we would like, you could say. Mostly, these are shrapnel wounds, but there are also direct bullets because we had contact with our enemies. Bakhmut is another theater of battle which has seen non-stop fighting over many months. But now, the troops on the front line say that lack of artillery ammunition could increase the chances of Ukraine losing its positions. On an icy morning in the fields of Ukraine's eastern Donbass, deafening explosions break the silence. Outside, every step they take is full of danger. The Russians have heavily mined the area. Oh, 
I'm always on the ground, clearing mines, crawling slowly. Sometimes they shoot at us. We hide, we crawl on the ground, in the mud, in the shit. But that's the way it is. We do our job while we can. The stalled military advance, the daily shelling and the mounting casualties is a big setback for the war-struck country. Now, with the prospect of a much longer and costlier war than they had hoped for, and one that some, somehow acknowledges that they are not guaranteed to win the ongoing war. Women on the home front have also had to become stronger, but the question is, at what cost did we become stronger? The kin of the soldier to echo the same disappointment. The Ukrainian capital is regularly targeted by Russian missiles, but more than the Russian strikes, some are growing critical of Zelensky's tactics. Draft dodging is on the rise as men hide to avoid receiving notices or try to bribe officials at local recruiting centers. Activate any of our capabilities and resources. Human resources first and foremost. My husband has been at war since February 28th and my son-in-law is at war. I see a very large number of examples of people sacrificing themselves who go to war following the call of the heart. And for more on this, we were earlier joined by Ron Alado, who is a former U.S. military officer and former intelligence and operations officer, Pentagon. Listen to what he had to say on the Ukraine-Russia war. Well, basically, uh, the main issue is the morale, the complete morale of the soldiers on the bat battlefront have suffered a lot. And that... Uh, that suffering of the morale of the uh, of the troops obviously reflects into psychological trauma, it's, uh, in depression, in uh, uh, panic attacks, in uh, 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 in psychological expressions of uh, uh, PTSD, etc. So that's what is suffering. We, we need to understand this from the strategic viewpoint. The main issue here is uh, from the strategic viewpoint is that the counteroffensive that Ukraine, Ukraine uh, launched back in uh, summer of 2023 was a complete failure. And that caused the, the army of Ukraine to be wasted. Over 70,000 uh, uh, casualties between kill and, and injured. And all the equipment, thousands and thousands of vehicles and equipment destroyed. So obviously that was a terrible, uh, catastrophic blow to the Ukrainian morale. And now we are seeing the, uh, the reflection of that catastrophic failure of the, of the Ukrainian counteroffensive into the morale and the psychological state of the Ukrainian troops right now on the ground. 